What? Did you manage to find the sewers? Uh, yeah. They're on the, um, beach side. These wheels control the water level. Okay. He has something for me, just give me a sec. I mean, I've had someone say that before. <laughs> Properly now. Ah! I suppose someone's got stuck. Hope you like it when it comes. Okay. Oh, I'm excited. Your game is a tattoo ladder, so it will be in the So, could you explain the face cam? Uh, uh, explain the face cam in that I'm not face camming because I look like shit. <laughs> That and I'm kind of still eating, so apologies. So is this now? What is this? Oh, oh. Okay. No idea what the fuck I'm doing. That there's money on there. Money, 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 money. Who cares? I need you. <laughs> no. A lot of crap. <laughs> Don't make me do it. How 
to. Oh, money. Uh, seriously though, how to? Had a pretty shit day, man. Feels bad, man. Oh no. What happened? I mean, if you don't mind me asking. And obviously, if you don't mind saying it on the stream. Obviously, feel free to, like, not say it. <laughs> I suddenly realised how, like, personal that question is. <laughs> oh, sounds like trouble. And he's gone. Cool. Hmm. He, uh, pretty much cleaned them bones. Physics teacher being a shit. Ah! Oh. I was really lucky in that my physics teacher was amazing, but he was fucking weird, but he was amazing. There's dead people everywhere. How pretty! Someone, someone actually made jewelry. Okay, one of those. This is despicable. Nah. <laughs> and one more for good luck. I have this thirst for blood. Come here, little rat. What I love about him I is that he tries to think I'm we will remember this. anything from the curriculum when going into the real world when he knows that we won't. <laughs> yeah, I barely remember anything from my school days. Oh, and it continues all the way down there. It's locked. No, oh, of course, of course. The wrath of Ascalon for oh, yeah, too long. Good, good, good. It is way. time to purge the sewers of their filth. Uh, you again. Good the one they call fight. the sewer uh, dog. Hold your tongue, newborn, or I'll crush you like a maggot. <laughs> You've let the beast consume. When am I ever gonna remember the quadratic formula for Finally, maths? When? <laughs> a touch of lucidity. Uh-oh. So learn to respect the laws of Ascalon. <laughs> Ah. This is not going well. Dictates a 
Whilst you vanished, a slaughtered scalp was singing your Fuck. name. Fuck. Doing so well. I was doing so well. You shall learn to respect the laws of Ascalon. Oh, shit. <sighs> Is all. <laughs> oh, bollocks. My power you cannot comprehend. Oh, my God. I was fucking button mashing B, and it you just wouldn't do shit. I fucking bought pasta and I need to eat it. Hmm. Pretty good pasta. You shall learn to respect the laws of Ascalon! Nope. <laughs> power you cannot. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, fine, fine, fine. For you, I'll show my face. Hang on. Dun, 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 dun. It's just like Dark Souls, Angel. Indeed, it is just like Dark Souls. Oh, look, it's so dark. <laughs> uh, three, two, one. Ta da! Oh. I need to amend that because it has reset itself to default. So I look amazing. Why does it keep doing this? Get rid of that, get rid of that. Just get rid of the yellow. Fuck. That's better. I spent a good few bits of money for that. That came out of like 50 pounds, by the way. What? Why would you do that? I mean, bless you, but why? Doesn't matter. Love you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I currently have my hair tied up because it is baking in here. Oh, it's so hot. I'm so hot. Also, I am totally eating pasta at like nearly 10 o'clock. Sure, if I even <laughs> haven't eaten since twelve. Right, let's go. How? Where? How? Oh my god, that doesn't help me at all. Uh, there's a thing up there. Do I go up there? I will cancel and refund if you be a little shit now. Oh, okay. What? What's going on? I don't understand. Oh, door has been unlocked. I thank you. At least one skull escaped Fergal's wrath. Oh. I don't mind you eating. When do you have to eat? At ten o'clock. Are you mad? <laughs> As I got home, I was just like, ah, I have things to do, and I wanted to stream this, and I was like, I'll be fine, and then I was the like, poor Actually, creature I'm is really bleeding happy. to death. He cannot be far. Oh damn! What is it up here? Could you be so kind on trying to explain vampire? <laughs> Um, Panda, how would you explain vampire? I wouldn't. You wouldn't. So, 
vampire. You are a vampire. You were a famous surgeon before, and then somebody turned you, and you woke up in a mass grave. First person you meet is your sister. Oh! But you are a doctor, and you're hired in a hospital. Who knows? The guy who runs it knows your secret, and the lady who funds it is also a vampire. You are trying to cure the Spanish flu epidemic. Whilst also going through and taking out the bad guys and other vampires who are rogues. What the fuck is this? Hello? Bridget? This is our domain, not yours. You've been warned. Wait, I saved you from this creature. That must count for something. Thank you. Now go. Go back to the streets and houses. There is no love lost between us, vampire. But thank you. Um... What do? Oh, also in this, there are four counties, and depending on your actions, it can destabilize or stabilize them. Your actions do make a difference. For example, I thought I was doing good, I ended up doing bad, the pillar of the community then fucked off and vanished, and the whole community just collapsed, and I was like, fuck, what? It was really bad. So you're the sewer dog I've been told about. But who are you, really? If you must know, they call me Old Bridget. And this shelter is where we live. I'm Jonathan Reed. I'm a newborn Ekon. I'm afraid I'm not sure what's going on. I shall not bend a knee, young Ekon. But I sense your pain. Ask, and I will afford you my attention. Okay, then. Why was that creature after you? Fergal is the blunt instrument of the Ascalon Club. His masters would see us no. dead or turned into slaves if no. they had their way. Wait. I need to move this. Because this is just like in front of everything. It's bugging me. <laughs> What the hell was that thing? He wasn't an Ekon or a Skull. They are known as Volkhod, an ancient offshoot of immortals. Blood drives them, enrages them. Oh, it's so bright though. Sorry, I'm fucking about with everything. <laughs> no, oh my god. No, uh, that's, uh... F fuck it. Fuck it, that, that'll do, that'll do. That'll do, pig, that'll do. What of this Ascalon Club? Vampire society's elite in the Empire. They make the rules and enforce their judgment upon us whom they see as lessers. So is it you that Sean Hampton sent me to find? Perhaps. The sad saint was always kind to us. He must trust you if he revealed our location. Oh, he's now one of them! Sean is a skull. All those I've encountered have been violent, crazed creatures. How can he be any different? Maybe because he is the sad saint. Or perhaps...
Because I am old Bridget of the Sewer Skulls. Sean killed a patient of mine. And that's just one of the murders he's being hunted for. If you refer to Harriet, she is now among us and under our protection. Harriet Jones is alive. That's it. That's the proof Sean wanted me to find. I must talk to her. No. Harriet is not alive. But you can speak to her. I must warn you. She is fragile and may not receive you warmly. I don't understand. She is filled with bile and hate. Her mind is sharp as a tack, but her body is so weak. I've never seen its like before. She is resting in a room on the far right of this hideout. Thank you. I will bear that in mind. <coughs> oh! Well, I'm probably blind. Eternal gratitude for your protection, Master. We're at your mercy. Will you end us? Uh, no. Don't know why I did that. Just absolutely fucking pointless. Excuse me, I'm just, just going to take your money first, and then oh, I'll talk to Bridget you. Bridget says you are one to trust. Am I now? Maybe she was wrong. <gasps> Ascalon has stalked us for ages upon ages. More money. I'll have that. <coughs> Stolen. Hi. Our in London. I must be beyond these walls. Excuse me. Oh, this light! Why does it flicker so much? What is that? Common mace? Oh my god! Oh my god! Ooh. Bear strong. Wait, what did I just... Oh. I already picked one up. <gasps> I can upgrade. Wait, I don't use that, do I? One, four, three, one, six, five. No, I don't use it. Five thousand XP. I should sleep. Cool. What to upgrade? Um. Shadow. Damage. Yes. Greater regen. Uh, body conditioning. Physical prowess. Pro-S is definitely important. Body conditioning, blood capacity, big thirst. Oh god, yes! Seeing as they're the two attacks I use the most, I definitely need to upgrade these. Yay! No, sharp teeth, motherfucker! Uh, what? 
Oh yeah, I killed her. <laughs> oh shit. Panda. Yes. I did a boo boo. I'm not surprised. So I killed Giselle Paxton because she was a snarky little bitch. I didn't realise that was Lottie's sister because I didn't meet her till afterwards. <laughs> now Lottie's gone missing. <laughs> Whoopsie! need to check something. Okay, cool. I can get rid of that now. Holy shit! Hurry, it looks like death. What are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. Don't you know this is a quarantine zone? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm investigating the epidemic. You had better get to a safe place while you still can. Oh, really? Well, go investigate somewhere else and leave me be. I beg your pardon? I said go. Leave me alone, sir. Rodney, you're the man who killed that gang member, are you not? Is that why you are hiding in this godforsaken place? Yes, I did. I did not even know his name. Then why did you kill him? That arsehole always mocked me for the color of my skin. Usually I let it go. But not that night. We fought. He died. Whatever you've done, you can't spend the rest of your life hiding here. I just wanted to teach him a lesson. Not kill him. I'm not responsible for a murder if I didn't want to commit it. It was an accident. Believe me, Rodney, you won't survive here long. No matter what you did, you must go back to where you used to live. I'll go back to the docks then. But if I die, remember that the blood of Rodney Grader will be on your hands. Whoops. Oh, 
yours, spare the Gentiles, eh? You. Eternal gratitude for your protection, Master. Let's go speak to Harry and June. She was up here. Anything of interest? The vampire hunters will never find us. Oh my god, these guys even have a bar. Hello, Harriet. Do you recognize me? Hmm, yes. You were from the Pembroke Hospital. The young doctor. So full of secrets. I have so many questions I need to ask you, Harriet. If you would. I love questions. As for the answers, you may not like them. Your room. The blood. What brought you to fake your death in such a gruesome fashion? To see if I would be mourned. Why flee with Sean Hampton? Oh, it's always a pleasure to see a saint fall to sin. But the coward still won't kill. Oh. Do you take pleasure in causing so much pain and sorrow? Nobody gave a damn about me. Not a tear shed. Poor Harriet. Always the discarded. How do you feel? I can't see. I can't move. My body's burning. I feel as if I'm dying over and over again. Oh my god, Harriet's gonna turn into a fucking skull, isn't she? You see her arm? It's like a fucking Popeye. Have you tried to eat or drink something? People here tried to feed me, but I'm just not hungry. I don't have the strength. Does the pain ever stop? It is not pain I feel. It's like I, I can't stop feeling every inch of my body. But at the same time, each muscle and bone is the wrong place. Why did you come here? And why not? This is where I live now. Leave me be. Will you respect old Bridget's wishes? Will you obey her? Bridget is kind. She only needs to keep me fed and I'll be good. So you desire to stay here? Yes. I'm with my own kind. Birds of a feather, so to speak. Poor Harriet. Always alone. I have a question of the utmost importance to ask. Will you answer? Questions, questions, questions. The good doctor, always searching for answers. Do you remember what you did after leaving the hospital? Did you kill anyone? First, a question from me. You answer first. Very well, then. What do you want to know? Are you like me? Are you also dead? We are not dead, Harriet. Death no longer pertains to us. We are different. I like what I am. I truly do. I relish the pain that courses through me. I know you fled the hospital with Sean Hampton. Did you or Sean kill anyone in your flight? Anyone. Try and remember. I will not lie. I wanted blood and I wanted revenge and Sean pulled me from it. Brought me here instead. But the shadows heard my prayers. The shadows killed that bastard. What? Who was that man? 
The one murdered in the street. He used to be my landlord. I lived here for many years before falling ill. Oh, he was an awful man. Disgusting and cruel. So cruel. You sought vengeance by your own hand, and someone else obliged you. Very convenient. Don't lie to me. I don't lie. I saw him near the docks, and rightly I wished him dead. And I am happy he is. It's true. But I didn't kill him. I was too tired. Shadows? Tell me what you saw. The shadows, they heard me and answered. Something in the deep darkness, quick, deadly. It asked me if I wanted revenge. I answered, yes. And these shadows, this presence, do you still hear it? Was it a vampire? Did Sean see it? It spoke only to me, and now it is silent. But it is born of hatred. <laughs> and it will kill again. <laughs> and it hates you, Doctor. Oh, it hates you. What makes you say that? It, it whispered your name, Doctor Reed. It wanted to know who you were and where you went. Questions about me? What did you say? Nothing, Doctor. I said nothing. There was nothing it didn't already know. Oh, I'm tired now. Let me rest. Shit. Oh, hello. Have you found the answers you were looking for, young Ekon? There is too much left unanswered. So many questions. Get to know us. Spend time with us. And I may be willing to answer more questions. For how long have you been in hiding here? Skulls have been hiding under London since vampires first entered the city. Where did you hide before the sewers? We claimed ancient tunnels, forgotten caverns, catacombs. We are skulls, groveling beneath the feet of our makers. Your diction, your words. You do not carry yourself like most skulls I've encountered. True. I'm not like most skulls. You were once someone else. What happened to you? It is as sad as it is long, young Ekon. But it will remain mine. Can I be of service to you? We ask but one thing. Reveal to no one our secrets. Do not betray us. Why do you live here? Amongst the filth and vermin? Live. Here we hide. What are you hiding from? From the guilt, the shame, from the hunters and the light. And of course, our past. Why don't you leave the city? Hide somewhere far from the guard of Prewan, the Ascalon Club. We are the Sewer Skulls. This is our domain. We have run as far as we can, and now we hide. What manner of creature is Harriet? She is different from everyone else. I really don't know. I'm not even certain she is a skull. I've no idea as to what blood made her. What is a skull, in fact, in your honest opinion? The progeny of a vampire, disavowed by her maker. Perhaps a fruitless branch of a noble tree. A word used to enslave us. I cannot say. You mentioned that vampire blood has tremendous potency. You believe it to be stronger than your own? <sighs> The vampire's sweet blood. That rich, dark wine that we crave. For it made us, and it can sustain us. I thank you for your time, madam. I must go back to Sean Hampton now. Your kindness has been ample payment, Egon. To protect us, 
I'll close the access to our hideout, but you can use our shortcut to reach Mr. Hampton's shelter. Just follow the arrows. Thank you, old Bridget. I hope we'll meet again. Okay, well, you saw an arrow over here somewhere. Eternal gratitude for your protection, Master. Just away. What? What does it mean to go up the stairs? Man, I don't know. Oh yeah, it does. It does mean to go up the stairs. <laughs> Oh, there's men here. The vampire We're at your mercy. We'll win you at your mercy. It's locked, all right. Oh. Well. Bloody hell. What's happened here? Welcome back, Dr. Reed. Would you like to take communion with me now? What? Sean, are you eating raw flesh? It is the sacred flesh of the mortal lamb. Our Lord's bountiful transmutation for the sustenance of his believers. Thank you, Lord. I am your most humble servant. So, true to your word, you waited for my return. I told you, Dr. Reed, I was a man to be trusted. Did you have words with the poor Harriet? You make no distinction between the living and the skulls, do you? We are God's children, Dr. Reed, one and all. And he's determined to save us. Does this place belong to you? How can you be so certain you can keep it open? This warehouse was once property of the Dawson family, but has been bequeathed me through donation. The Dawsons? The wealthiest family in London? Have they a clue as to what goes on here? He keeps Not at all. <laughs> the donation was made before the war. The building was run down. I never met Aloysius Dawson myself. So you have the run of the place and no one's taken notice? As long as we keep to ourselves, we interest no one. This is a haven, and I pray it remains so for eons to come. What will be the result if you continue to assist both Skulls and the living? For the last decade, that's what's been happening. And they found a better life. What's to change? You're forgetting the epidemic. Things can go south very quickly. I've seen it. Oh, these are terrible times. Only those pure of heart shall prevail. You've turned scowl now. Don't you see the danger to anyone giving you their trust? We are all sinners, awaiting salvation. This is a simple truth, ordained by the Lord Almighty. I am a seeker of his glorious light. Harriet, Miss Jones has been behaving in a most violent manner. She's going to need special attention. That's precisely the reason I brought her here. To meet old Bridget. 
She's the guide Harriet requires. Who is this old Bridget? I don't know, Doctor. She rarely speaks of her past, but I know she has a long one. She's likely the oldest soul in the city. Harriet is possessed by her hatred. You cannot let her roam free. She's dangerous. She has joined her own kind, Doctor. Old Bridget is a saint to the younger Skulls, guiding them to salvation and peaceful existence. I believe I've learned all I need to know. I'm certain you've killed no one, but one day I believe you'll cross the line. <sighs> Logic is a false prophet. Faith is the only path to salvation. What do you mean? We have been blessed with God's eternity. We are the instruments of his divine will. We shall feed the hungry forever and ever. Amen. I will strive to emulate your merciful nature, Sean, but it's a difficult pledge to make. Give yourself over to God, Doctor. Expel your urges and kneel before the Lord in praise. These urges... You know the hunger will never be satisfied. I've come to embrace the everlasting craving. I have sworn to feed only upon the flesh of the dead. It is now my sacrament. Take, eat. This is my body. So saith the Lord. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Uh. Uh. What did. Panda? Where? What, what did you do to Sean? Uh. I said, you know what? I'm glad you found your piece. Um. Uh, um. So considering he's eating only dead people, I. Well, that's not bad. It's true, but he's gonna kill himself. Ah. I believe you, Sean. In fact, I envy the peace you found and will remember it. There is love and compassion in your heart. You only need to give it wings. Thank you for your kind words, Sean. Continue your noble efforts. You are a good man in bad times. Keep to the light, my friend. Like all my flock, you have a home here. Any time you're in the neighborhood. You know, I'm going to have to play this game again and just kill everyone. New citizens available to kill? Oh, yes! Oh, I, thought, I thought that was your playthrough right now, fucking... No! I, I'm being picky and choosy. Like I'm just killing those that I don't like and I think are bastards. I should have killed Harriet when I had the chance. What? <laughs> Another oh, corpse God. thrown in the streets. Someone's playing a very sick game. Good evening, Mr. Throgmorton. Dr. Reed, can I be of any assistance? Have you noticed anything suspicious lately? Did you see what happened to him? Actually, yes. He was thrown from the roof like a vulgar log. Who could have done that? Who? Well, a vampire, of course. Look, bite marks on the neck and lacerations here. There is definitely a vampire close by. Why is it that you sound so afraid? You didn't see it. He was dead before he hit the ground. The strength required to do such a thing, well, it beggars belief. You've 
never faced, let alone killed, a vampire, Ichabod. You're a fraud. No, I'm not. I may embellish the truth concerning my achievements, but I'm totally dedicated to my quest. You have courage, Mr. Throgmorton. Perhaps that is all one requires to face the demons. Thank you, Dr. Reed. You'll see. One day I'll find and kill one of these monstrosities with my own two hands. Bollocks. Fuck, I failed the hint. Goodbye. And good hunting, Mr. Throckmorton. I know this brooch. This is my mother's. A birthday gift from father. Twenty-nine Pretty Orchard Street. That's near Poplar's district. Why would this man carry off my mother's brooch? I must go there. Oh, shit. What? Lottie's a vampire? What? Lottie turned into a vampire. Well, thanks for the spoiler. Jesus. Oh, sorry. Well, you didn't kill her. Well, you didn't kill her sister. Oh. means I can take on Nurse Crane now.
Wow. Oh shit. Oh god, there's a whole load of things going down. Jump across the dock, can't I? Yes. So over here. Yes. It's locked, all right. Where's the pub? Oh, I thought that was it. Oh, no, it's there. I should just run as far away from this place. Welcome back, Doctor. What can I do for you? You lied to me, Tom. Your warehouse wasn't empty. It was inhabited with armed vigilantes. I'm sorry, Dr. Reed, but I thought those Prewin guards would be willing to let someone like you pass without trouble. That was devious of you, Tom. Next time you can bloody well go yourself. I apologize, Doctor, but it's just that I prefer to avoid the law, its enforcers, and all manner of thugs in uniform. Here is your booze. I hope it will appease your customers. Just try not to kill anyone with this poison of yours. <laughs> Believe me, Doctor, most of my customers are less agreeable when sober. I refuse to believe that Wolfie is number one. <laughs> Tell me about your arrest for attempted murder, Tom. I tried to kill someone. I got arrested. I paid my debt and I have nothing to hide. So you mean your customers know about your sordid past? Yeah, <laughs> why do you think this is the last pub open? I have nothing to hide and I don't judge. That's a relief for many round here. Do you think prison changed you? Made you a better man? Oh, I don't know about that. All I brought back is bad memories, scars, <laughs> and an ugly tattoo of a blue turtle. But do you feel cleansed of your sins? All I know is that I'm at peace. I did what I did, but I wouldn't do it again. Does that make me a better man? I don't know. You attempted murder. Give me some details. I was given an order. An order to kill. I was an obedient gang member at the time. A proud, wet boot boy. Why did you join the gang? Because I finally felt useful. Do you have any idea what it means to feel respected when the rest of the world shits on you? 
So you were ordered to kill someone. What happened then? I don't know if you can possibly understand, but... I couldn't kill him. I just stood there, pointing my gun. Someone saw me. I gave up. Why couldn't you shoot? My target was eating in that fancy restaurant Sorry, with mirrors and music. It going? It's going well. He was eating, drinking, laughing. He was having I'm such here, a good time. If I'm isn't, then he can't be number one. I hated him for <laughs> his bottomless appetite, an easy life of easy pickings. Hater will say Wolfie is at work and can't be here. And then something happened. <laughs> yeah. But they're lying. You refused to kill him because you wanted to feel some of that happiness yourself. You empathized with him. Exactly. The man was a bloody landlord who rented overpriced flats. A selfish bastard. But he made me smile. And I was no different from him. I know you love drama, Angel. Sending you something. Oh, thanks. Cheers, mate. Why not leave town and start a new life after you got out of jail? I grew up in the East End. This is where my roots are. This is where I want to help others and die eventually. Do you think the docks will always be a hive of scum and villainy? As long as poverty and fear run the show, I don't see how it would change. Misery loves company, as they say. Don't you feel threatened, staying in such a violent and criminal neighborhood? I've made peace with my violent past, Dr. Reed. I may not be a pacifist, but I'm not angry anymore. Yay! Goodbye, Mr. Watts. Damn it. I think drink the wrong disturbs me. Investigation succeeded! Don't you good drinks just as lightly to... Uh... I don't know where the bombing took place. I don't know where that is. All of these are just like way too far away. Okay. I need to go back to the hospital. Actually. Now everything seems under control, more or less. Don't forget to keep an eye out for this guarded something. My guess is they're recording. Damn it, they're both four and five. In the meantime, like three. The boys are waiting for us. There you go, have fun with the drama. It's locked. Thank you. Fuck. And it's not about me for once. Hooray! Progress! Why are you so against Wolfie being number one? Oh shit. Get eaten. You wanted some? Oh. Can't catch me. Oh fuck. Yes you can. Never mind. I'm gonna shut my face. <laughs>
Okay, so if I follow this path, I should get to the hospital. Oh, not a good place for a stroll. Easy Do you know what? Follow it. Uh, it's not good. Get your weapons ready. Uh, Will always be my number two. <laughs> He's death guard of the high angels. <laughs> yes, he is. You gonna come out and fight me, mate? You gonna come fight me? You gonna come fight me? Come on, come on, fight. Oh, why can I not? Oh, fuck's sake. I can't. Ow! Get off me! Sam is your number one. Fight me, woman. <laughs> I don't want to fight you. He's mine! I'll take him! Shit. Whoa! Avoided that. Oh, you bastard! Oh my god! Care <laughs> for spanking. Please give me your souls. Hey there, buddy. See them fancy clothes? This yeah. one's a car. Ah. Ah. See these fancy clothes? You ain't never gonna get anything like this. Yes, let me feed on you. Oh shit. Ha! Ah. Oh, I took him out with one! You next? Sorry, who does what now? So oh shit, I mean do that. I have this thirst for blood. You do. However, everyone else loves you for it. Can you guys keep a secret? I'm recording a song for Sam to cheer him up. Oh but shh okay, I won't tell him. I hope he doesn't watch the video of this. Let's run along home, sir. Okay, bye! You're running long home. Actually, I do need to get to the hospital. Something's going on. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo. You. What's happening, girl? It is good to see you again, Jen. Delete, delete, delete. How are you? I'm better than one might expect, Lady Ashbury. Dr. Swansea has asked me to investigate the recent disturbances in the hospital caused uh, by scouts. Really? Right now. What do you mean? Uh. Uh. I discovered the most intriguing skull an elderly woman answering to the name of Old Bridget. And a man who helps them remain hidden in London. Old Bridget. Peculiar name. I've never heard of her. According to Old Bridget, skulls can lead a peaceful existence like us. They are even able to nourish themselves by feeding on corpses and the flesh of the dead. How vile. Please, Jonathan, let's change the subject. Okay. Skulls of London have gone into hiding. Both mortals and immortals plot their extermination. Yes. Skulls are the orphans of the vampire society. They are the shame of their genitors. A disgrace to the vampire that created them. 
There is something ominous closing around me, Lady Ashbury. Something spies upon me from the shadows. Something cruel and wicked. Whatever do you mean, Jonathan? If Sean Hampton and Harriet were not the guilty parties, then who? I saw the bodies and the blood. Your rebirth has not gone unnoticed, Jonathan. Be extremely careful. If you get in the way of an immortal's plans... Do you suspect someone? I don't know, Jonathan. I steer clear of vampire politics, especially whilst hunters roam the city's streets. Cool. Goodbye for now, my lady. I I love how these characters are just like breaking the fourth wall because they don't look at him, they look at the camera. And it's like, but why? Why are you staring me in the eyes? I don't want to know. I apparently have new dialogue with Dr. Swansea, so we're going to go do that. Oh, God, this camera angle. Swansea! Jonathan, at last. I've been worried sick. Have you solved the case of our poor Sean Hampton? Don't worry, Edgar. The reputation of Pembroke Hospital is secure. Sean Hampton was not the guilty party. <laughs> they actually look at me because I'm killing stream legends right now. Oh, good <laughs> news. Good news indeed. I found Harriet Jones. She's much the same old embittered woman she was, only she's been made a scowl. Her transformation did not go well. Incredible. Why not bring her here? We could learn so much by studying her condition. It would be fascinating. I doubt that. She can barely move. Perhaps we could learn more about the degeneration of skulls. Perhaps. But she could also belong to a new species. We know so little of the laws that dictate vampire reproduction. Were there any studies made by your order on the subject? Uh, not that I'm aware of. I will transmit your discovery to the Brotherhood's primate. He will be delighted. Okay, cool. What do you know of the Ascalon Club? Uh, not as much as I would like. There have always been rumors about a secret society of vampires operating in the interests of the British Empire. Though I've never met a member. I just killed their leader. I crossed paths with one. A terrifying creature going by the name of Fergal. He wasn't he their was leader? He was sent by the Ascalon Club to exterminate the Skulls of the East End. By the stole, Jonathan. If vampires are eliminating their own progeny, then dark times are upon us. Darker than I've ever witnessed. I was reading drama and come back to seeing mods delete, delete what I miss. Uh, because I am being has said that uh, we need to keep a secret because he's going to create a song for Wolfie and I said uh, that's, that's a problem because you just said it on stream so he was asking if he could delete his message <laughs> but I've just said it anyway <laughs> like three times Jonathan our beloved lady is not one for social dalliances nor the assemblies of dark orders she's a woman of superior taste and selective acquaintance I mean, there's not really much point because... Oh. No, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can delete it because he won't know who actually said it. Does the name Old Bridget... Can't really tell does. the British anything. <laughs> well, I've never heard of her. Why? Don't know what you're talking about. The patient of ours? I must confess, I don't know them all. No, it's just someone I recently met. A fascinating woman. Come I had on. That perhaps. By the stole, Jonathan, you've met another vampire. Mate, I, I just would told you I went in the sewer with some. If that's the case. A pleasure as always, Edgar. Thank you. Right. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna rush over to this place because I have to go soon, and I want to deal with Nurse Crane because that'd be amazing. She was like so OP when I met her. But seeing as I've just taken down a level 30 vampire, I feel that this will be a lot easier. Sup, girly? It's safer here than anywhere else in the Why have I got two markers? Oh, one's at the hospital. Uh, I need to get rid of that one. Meep, meep. <laughs>
I may or may not have forgot to add the add-on for my new PC. What's the add-on? It's critical in here. Yes, it is. Because somebody destroyed the pillar of the community. Ow, shit. Shit, it's a vampire hunter. Get him, kill him. I am out of fucking stamina. I I need to fucking run. Yes, get, 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 get. No, get distracted by the skull. Fuck off, leave me alone. Oh my god. Oh, go, 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 go. Come on, just go. Oh my god. Are you serious? Roll back to the Good. Leave me alone, please, please. I just want to fucking go. Can I can I get out of here, please? Yes, thank you! Jesus Christ. Better, twitch.tv. Would be funny if I started streaming me playing Stream Legends on your stream. <laughs> Streamception! You're fatigued. Uh, no, you know what? Fuck you. this oh, okay no I'm I'm still so far away come on where is she is it in here Darius's house yes and then yes here we go Oh no! <laughs> that is not a good start. <laughs> Ingo lied to me about helping me at 6:30. I did. I did. Because I didn't need help. I don't know. <laughs> Come at me, bro. Can I just say this? Oh no! Wait, there's money on that table. Thank you. I need to be a rich vampire. Bad words. Find that mod. Oh fuck. Ah! Oh no! 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 Get wrecked. Oh shit! There's another one. <laughs> oh! Can't beat those moves. Is this the one-shot woman? It is the one-shot woman. So let's try again. Be very quiet. I'm hunting rabbits. Boom! Oh fuck, that did nothing to her. No, 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 no. Oh, shit. Oh, I have some heartburn. Protection. <laughs> I have a shield. Go, oh, bitch. No, I drink you. No, 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 no. Well. Well. Okay then. 
I mean, that would have been super annoying had I just killed her and then just got fucked right at the end. <laughs> hey, I like you didn't die in one hit this time. I didn't! Lies! I never agreed to matureness. Yes, you did. When you first came into the stream, you did. Yes, you did. That in is right. <laughs> no! Yes! Hi! Come at me, go on, try again. Oh, oh, you're protecting. No. <laughs> it is always right. No, no, let's not feed the ego. <laughs> cool, we dealt with the nurse. Woo! Now this district's gonna fall into disrepair, cause she dead. Fuck. Oh shit. Oh, I could totally kill him now. And her. I already could kill him, but I don't know where he is. I could kill him, but he's very small. I'm just here with my sippy cup, like. <laughs> I can't kill him yet. I can't kill him. Look at these two! These two! They're definitely father and son! Like, oh my god, Joe Pe Peterson- <gasps> We could go kill Joe Peterson! Oh my god, yes! Yes! I must go kill Joe Peterson, I have to. I want him dead. I want him dead. Where's- where's the fucking merchant? There he is. Joe Peterson needs to die. Hello, boyo! You again? What do you want this time? I want to take your life! She didn't really. Sh she didn't mean my shitty joke. That was my man. I already struggled to go through my doorway with my big head, so nothing new. Brilliant. Look how bad this gets. This is so tense. It's just like, yep, yeah, he's gonna die. Take care of him. Was I a good father? No, you weren't. You were a shit father, and he's not even your son. Oh shit! I got a new, new fucking clue for that. Amazing. <coughs> Doesn't Joe Peterson play for West Brom? Good evening. Yeah, kill that sword. <laughs> I'm trying to be sure. British, e in it. Sure. Is there only pain and suffering in this world? So, I'm not bothered. Uh, you and your father have a difficult relationship, Harry. Tell me, did he ever hurt you? No, never. My father can be brutal and rude, violent even. But he never touched an air on my head. What is going on between you two then? It's his job, if you can call it a job. He bullies people. Men and women we know, like poor Mr. Lewis, it's just not right. Well... Goodbye, young man. Uh... Take care of yourself. How... how do I tell him? Your father's dead? Is there only pain and suffering in this world? I'm... I'm intrigued to see what happens to him. Where's that fucking safe? There was a safe in here that I've just got a key for. Is it this? Aha! Yes! Yes! Love it! Love it, darling. Joe's barbed cudgel. Fucking what? Yes, mate. Bye! I now need to go sleep. Because if I sleep, we'll be able to see what happens to the boy. Does he survive? I hope not. 
That was really dark, I'm sorry. Where the fuck is this fucking... Where am I? Why am I here? Why is there a fucking... Uh. Excuse me. An air on me head. I'm crying so hard right now. <laughs> Why? Oh, fuck it! Where is this? Oh, I went the wrong way. I have to watch the stream to calm down. Cringing! <laughs> oh, you're cringing so hard, not crying. Okay, I'm sorry. Wait, where am I go? Oh my god! Come on, I have to go. I need to do this as soon as possible. Where, where, where? Up there, up there, go, whee! Come on, come on, come on. I wanna see what happens. I wanna see what happens to the boy. Because now his dad's dead. <laughs> his dad's absolutely fucking dead. Uh. I'm not gonna bother with uh, meds and stuff just yet. I will do that in the morning. Uh, 7,000 XP? Fucking yes, mate. What do I want? <laughs> what, do, what do I actually want? I don't know. Body conditioning, prowess. Do you know what? Let's, let's just fucking max out this bad boy. No, I don't. Let's do one more of that. And then this thing. 2,000! Holy shit! And that's 3,000. Fuck at me. Uh, gain an additional boost on your health regen. Or trade instant health for a greater regen. Uh. Let's do that one. Cool. Let's do it. Let's see what happens to the boy. Anarchy in the UK. Fuck it destabilized. It fucking destabilized. Christian faith or cult? What is immortality? Having your name inscribed in history. Raising children who will honor your memory. Earning your place among the saints of heaven. Sean Hampton, founder of the... Has, has has his opinion on the matter eternity comes to those who bear divine presence in themselves Mr. Hampton also known as the sad saint for his only called up empathy towards others and his constant pity for their plight has created with this asylum a haven for lost souls he keeps poor fed and gives them roof to sleep under still the asylum has now been closed for a few days in his last successful or orations took a turn towards cult like worship if hearsay heresy can be defined as faith on adrift Sean Hampton and his flock may have been turned into heretics for the first time since I've known the sad saint people spoke ill of him and the mysterious chance heard through the closed doors and shelter worry more than they encourage. Fuck! This possible consequence of this suspicion sanitary situation in the docks has drastically decreased. Deprived of a place to rest, the poor get sick from sleeping rough, preferring to catch their death under the stars and join an unknown cult. That alone says enough of the tarnished reputation of the sad saint. A reputation that will once be restored only when the doors of his asylum open once again. I spared him. I fucking spared him. And, and then the two daughters, the two sisters who were looking after his place, one of them I killed her without knowing who she was because she was just an absolute fucking arsehole and then her sister just turned into a vampire so I was like, well now I've got to fucking deal with you and now this has happened bollocks there they are, they're fucking dead and now it's a serious oh, your choice concerning community pillow have been reported by the press fuck, and he's missing oh bollocks Right, what's next then? Right, okay, hospital's fine. <gasps> no! What? You with enough money to buy this paper, enough contempt to scoff the title of this article, you had enough curiosity to read it away. 
should be informed about the truth of so-called news you read in the press of London. Last night, the Whitechapel district was evacuated following an abrupt rise in the mortality rates. Thousands of inhabitants were hastily relocated, follow filling hospitals and wards are already overflowing with terminally ill families. Many in bad health and most of them fearful after days and nights of silent terror. Will you read about this catastrophe elsewhere? No. Am I allowed to write about it? Even less so. Journalists are gagged, silence forbidden to raise awareness about the horror that dances before our eyes. Hear me! London is falling! Protect yourself and your loved ones from this sickness, but do not close your eyes to it. It is here and it is th it's thirst, craves young and old, rich and poor. Many thanks to my colleagues whose names I will keep private for their own safety, who helped me bypass the censorship that is a true plague of London. I assume full responsibility for this publication and beg the authorities to end their insane control. Fuck! 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 Oh god! I didn't know this would happen! The newspapers have reported the fall of another London bar. Fuck! Oh, bollocks! Fuck! Oh, shit! Damn it, I didn't. Oh, I've broken my controller now. Um, I didn't. Oh, fuck me! No! No! There was so. Oh, what? Why? Why? Why is everybody. D oh, the. F oh, because the fucking state of the city has dropped below critical. And as soon as it's below critical, everybody fucking dies. Oh, balls! Oh, I didn't realise that's what happens! Fuck! Damn it! And I'm stuck in the middle of it! Oh, I'm stuck in the fucking middle of it. I've now got to get back to the hospital somehow. Oh my god. What have I done? What have I done? I fucking killed the nurse, didn't I? <sighs> if I hadn't killed the nurse and I... Oh. Fuck! Oh my god! I, I fucking... Oh god damn it! Oh my... I'm so pissed. I am so pissed. I shouldn't have killed the nurse. I should have killed either her or Joe Patterson. But I killed them both and it all just fell apart. I wanted to see what happened to Joe. What happened to Joe? What happened to his son? Because it isn't his son. It's Barrett's son. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm so gutted. Fuck this game. Oh, my God. Shit. Oh, okay, I've got to go because I've got to go pick up the Viking from work. But bollocks. Bollocks! Oh, that was the biggest fucking balls up ever. Oh, I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. This is going to take more than one fucking playthrough, I'll tell you now. Right, thank you guys so much for joining me. Uh, I appreciate you guys all hanging around and uh, chilling out with us. And I will be streaming this again on Wednesday. I'm, I'm just going to continue through with this because I want to see how it plays out. There are so many different fucking ways that this could end anyway that it's going to be different every time i don't know if it has multiple endings or whether it just has the one ending and like it all just depends how you get there and how you come to that conclusion but oh i i love this game i love this game so much it's a nice mix of like action and investigation and moral dilemmas and all of your shit actually has an effect on the town and it's a nice simple and easy way to show it to you oh my god, I am stressing, I am sweating. I'm so pissed. I'm so pissed. <laughs> god, fuck! Fuck! Oh my god! Oh! I lost the district! <sighs> Until next time, guys. Chili bye!